from the feather place. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a butterfly um, wing. Okay, so with that in mind, I wanted to introduce you to a product that we have, which is um, basically it's a frame. I used it on this particular wing right here. We use it a lot for carnival costumes and different things like that, but it could be used for any wing actually at all. What's nice about the frame is it's very lightweight. It could be used for a child on up to an adult uh, size wing, but depending on how you want to manipulate it, you could have a massive wing that you might want to craft out for the project. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, it comes packaged like this and it comes round like that. So I'm going to open this up actually right now so you can see exactly what you're going to get. Now it's constructed from wire and um, elastic for your harness strap. So it can expand really big if you need it to, or if you needed it smaller, you could just undo the tabs, tighten it down and re-glue it or stitch it if you wanted to. Now, what's wonderful about it is you can really manipulate any part of it. Okay, so even though I haven't shaped the frame yet, I wanted to show you how it would fit on a person or onto um, our mannequin here. So again, I would just stretch it open and for right now it's going to look like I'm roughing it up a little bit but it's very durable so I would just bend it like this and then of course you're going to bend it to your shape of your shoulder whenever you're going to wear it so basically that is how it's going to fit onto the body too and notice you can shape it to fit your shoulder line okay so now we're going to get into great detail of how we go from this basic framework and form to this pattern with these panels put on with the felt which is what is underneath the wing as a finished product. decide what shape I wanted to do I basically just got on to um, the internet and I just put butterflies in and looked at images so I, I went with something that was pretty much a basic shape of a butterfly and then um, with looking at it on the internet I just started bending and working with the wire frame until I kind of got a shape that I liked and then I laid that shape on top of the pattern paper as you can see, it bends pretty good. It's not, it's not hard to mess with at all. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. Any pattern that you make, you only need to make one. So I always tend to do things from the right first and then go to the left, so I'm just gonna flip the pattern over. All right, so we have the form basically into the shape that we wanted to based off of our pattern. So the next thing that I did was I take the pattern, I lay it out on um, my felt, and what I like to do is I like to make an overlaying line around my pattern that's about at least a fourth of an inch, but I don't even mind going half an inch if my space allows it. So my pattern's here, and I'm gonna go outside of it just a little way so I have overlap. Okay, so I just trimmed out all of those um, upper wing patterns out of that compressed felt, and it actually, you're gonna need two for each side. So two for the left, two for the right, because it's going to be sandwiched. And what I do is I sandwich it with one piece of the same kind of material, fold it in half, I pattern draw it in half, and then it will just simply slide into place like this. So then you'll have your lower portion that you'll build off of. So again, earlier how I had us draw the outer line larger than the frame piece is because in a minute when we do this, we're going to glue the bottom part on and then glue the top part on. And I don't want to have to worry about trying to make everything fit just perfectly. So I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to glue around the outside edge and we'll press this together. That way at the end, all I have to do is just a little bit of trim work. So when you're gluing the panels in place on the upper part, you're only going to glue the felt to the inner panel or the inner wire 
on this part. I do not want to glue onto the outer one because I want the freedom to move my wing as much as possible to give it dimension. Next thing I'm going to do is put glue right on top of that. I'm going to sandwich the material and I'm going to put a pretty generous amount on there because I actually want it to kind of like press out off of the wire and onto the felt because then as I'm gluing I'm going to go around and I'm going to do a pressing motion to make sure that it's on both sides of the wire and into the felt material. I want it to be as secure as possible. The last thing you want to have happen is for the portions to come apart whenever you've designed something and you're out and about using it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do a little bit of trim work on that and at this point too I want to expose that spot that is free now because we didn't glue it to the outer wire only the inner wire. Okay so we just did that rough trim out work that we just did around the edges and we wanted to be right at kind of where the glue had over um, seeped over the edge and so we would have a sealed mark. Just lift it up again and if you see some spots where you don't feel like it got a good um, amount of glue on both sides to make it sealed, go ahead and add a little bit more right there and just give it a quick press. We're doing the front side of the wing, so we want the feathers to flip forward. That gives it a lot more dimension, makes it really interesting. So if I'm walking up to you, it's going to be really playful and it's going to be moving around a lot toward you. So on the front side, feathers come forward or flip forward. When we do the back side, which you'll see here in a little bit, it's smooth and sleek. So if someone's seeing you turn around, it's going to be really smooth, almost like it's doming around you and it makes it look really nice and finished off. Okay, so the next thing that we want to incorporate is our peacock eyes that are basically like the dots on the moth or the butterfly in here. Now the reason why I like to do that second layer on that first part first is because I like to kind of figure out just a little bit more where it's going to go in there. So these can be trimmed more if you need them to be trimmed more. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to make these coke panels. And we're going to do it in this um, purple color here. Now just like we did on the other part of the wing, how it's flipping forward and out, we're going to make two panels that are actually going to flip forward and out too. And the back two panels will be opposite. They'll be smooth and flipped over the other way. So I actually make a little felt um, pad to, to build this on. It goes really fast if I do it that way. Plus, if I need to adjust anything, it's a lot easier for me to make an adjustment off of this with feathers than it is to try and strip feathers off of more feathers sometimes. And I don't want to ruin any feathers if I can help it. I'd rather do it this way. So I just made one basic pattern traced them out. You're going to need a total of four of those. Now this um, purple coke comes strong on this bias tape. It, ba it comes in one yard piece. What I did is I just divided it into four and so basically nine inches worth is what we're going to use to do this project with. That way you're not having to buy several pieces or anything. So make this nine inches spread out for one of your panels. So the next thing I want to do is just show you how secure everything is at the moment. Um, we've glued it really well. It's durable. It can take just about anything you could give it at this point. And instead of focusing on the other side, we're just going to fold this in half right now. And we're going to work on the opposite side. Now, as we talked about before, the front side when it was showing toward you, the feathers were flipping forward. Now you see how they dome backwards and it gives it that finished look for the back. Now if you'll notice in our original design, we wanted some play from the other side showing through kind of to represent the iridescentness of a butterfly anyway. 
So we wanted to see the regal from the other side, so we dropped the first feathers in a little ways, maybe about four to five inches. Okay, now on the bottom portion, it changed just a little bit. Now we only go to two inches difference. So there's less of the background color coming through as we come down, but then something really interesting happens. Our longest feather of the group drops down and is longer than the original side. That way, they get a little pop of purple on the back side whenever you're facing forward again. Okay, for our next step, we're going in with our second color on the back with our ostrich. Looks like we did about another five inch gap between. And if it gets off a little bit, it's okay, it's no biggie. All right, the next thing I wanna do is add the peacock eye, which might be hard for you to see, but it comes in down here in layers on top. I'm going to glue the quill of the peacock as much as I possibly can to the quill of the longest ostrich piece there. It'll work for stability and everything to make everything more solid. Okay, now the last thing that we want to do for the back side on this portion would be to make our half a medallion again um, to cover over this part and to make it look finished off. both sides now and it should look something like this. You flip it over so you can see the other side. And the last bit that we want to do is add our two antennas. Now you can manipulate these just a little bit with your finger just to give it a little bit more angle but I kind of need a little bit of a straight edge in order to attach it onto the framework. Thanks again for watching and enjoy your new wing. We'll see you next time. Thank you.